Okay, here's a roof that's, uh, this is a bank-owned property. It looks like uh, somebody was up here starting something and at some point and uh, didn't complete it. They were, it looks like re-roofing the house. There's just a whole boatload of nails just dumped out up here and material still sitting around. Um, shingles are, looks like a uh, three-layer roof. Tore the back off and replaced that. Let's see if they did it right. So it looks not too bad. The, the courses are overexposed by about quarter inch, three eighths of an inch on the overlaps. But that'll fly. That'll get by. Uh, needs collars on the uh, vent pipes. Somebody was kind of crafty and they kind of cut the top to try to snug it up, but you have to put a collar on it and that finishes it. The, uh, so the back is not pretty, but it's functional. Sometimes we'll certify functional, uh, even though it's not pretty, and uh, try to help move the process along. If, we, if I don't think it's going to leak, then I'll, uh, I'll pass it. But uh, we have to come here and tie back in on the front uh, the material here that's missing and exposed nails. We've got a, lot of, a bunch of exposed nails here that uh, we're going to have to deal with as well. i got to determine whether or not we probably just want to replace the shingles on that. So there you go. These are some of the issues we face on a daily basis and it's it can be difficult to make the the recommendation based on what you see on the roof.